Hey, what's going on guys? Major League Shooter here. Today, you know, I want to do a different kind of video for you guys. I've been getting a lot of people inboxing me about uh, questions regarding my EDC. What kind of knife do I use? What kind of gun? Uh, whatever, so on and so forth. So, with that being said, you know, I think, I, I think it's time to do an EDC video. So, I hope you guys enjoy. So like I said guys, um, I'm doing a quick EDC video for you guys uh, because you know people's been asking me what I carry on a day to day basis so um, with that being said I'm just basically just going to take stuff out of my pocket and put them on my table on this little quick table really quick so that you guys can actually see what I carry. So first things first, um, I have this 511 TMT PLX pen light. You know, it's only 90 lumens, but it does, you know, it does more than enough. Um, this is a great flashlight. It's not a tactical flashlight, so there is a difference. And uh, for tactical reasons, I do not recommend this light. But uh, nevertheless, it is a great flashlight for an EDC per, uh, type purposes. So, uh, great flashlight. The finish is starting to come off. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you know, who cares about the finish? It's all about the functionality of the the product, right? So. The 511 TMT PLX pen light. Of course, you know, I carry my car keys. I have two sets of car keys for two of my vehicles. This is for my Impala SS, and this is for my Chevy Silverado. Um, on my Silverado keys, I actually have this 762 bottle opener, um, just in case you never know when you will need a bottle opener. Or at least in my case, it's sometimes. Uh, pretty often. Um, I do have my iPhone 5S, as you can see my logo right there, Major League Shooter, and it, it, I do have the Magpul uh, case for it. Sorry about the lighting by the way guys, it's pretty dark out over here, it got dark pretty early, and I am doing it kind of late, so I'm just basically relying on my my ceiling light so but anyways hopefully it's not it's not too too bad for you guys but yeah I have this Magpul you know case almost every you know pro second amendment gun type uh, enthusiast has this case so I'm probably gonna end up having somebody do something right here on the bottom portion of it just so just to be you know more unique more uh, standoffish to me um, so definitely my iPhone for my secondary knife I like to carry the um Kershaw speed what's it called the speed safe it's a Kershaw speed safe it's a very similar if not the identical knife that I carried on my first deployment and I say that because this is not the same exact one that I had I had something uh, I had a different one um but I mean I think it is the same one though but obviously not this exact one but I think it is the same knife and uh, you know I did carry that one during my first deployment so I can definitely say that this is a really good knife and it does the pro uh, does the uh, uh, it does what it, what it what it's intended for so definitely recommend this knife and the best part about this knife is this, I only paid like what maybe twenty five dollars for this if if not less cheap knife I don't believe in for an EDC carry purposes I don't think you need anything really nice really expensive uh, since it's probably just gonna get destroyed anyways but. This is a good knife. Kershaw Speed Safe. For my primary knife, I have the Citadel tactical knife right here. This is a great knife. Uh, you can see that you know the finish is starting to come off and everything. I do use this a lot, and you know between uh, the light and the knife, this is probably the things that I use by far the most on my EDC. Uh, you'd be surprised how much you use a flashlight. You'd be surprised how much you need a knife. So definitely, this is my primary knife and then this is my secondary knife. Also, on top of that, I do carry 
the Gerber suspension. You know, like I said before, I don't need anything uh, very expensive. You know, Leathermans are great. I've had them before. I've had different kinds of, you know, Gerbers and all kinds of different multi-tools, but I don't need anything really expensive. This has everything I need. You know, it's got the saw, the serrated knife, the straight edge knife. Um, it's got scissors. I mean, it, it got, it's got everything you need, you know, screwdriver, a flathead, I mean, a Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, um, bunch of other stuff, man. This is a, this is a good one, man. Uh, you don't need anything special. So that's that. Of course, everybody needs their, some sort of, a a wallet or a carrier or purse or whatever, whoever you may be. Obviously I carry a wallet and you know, in here has all my essentials. I got my driver's license, you know, my military retired ID, uh, my VA card, my California Rifle and Pistol Association life membership card, my NRA life membership card, um, uh, my, my student ID because I am in school and a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. So I do very obviously I, I definitely need that to be carried all day every day on my wrist I carry the Hornady uh, RFID reader for my Hornady rapid safe this is uh, this is I man I can't tell you how awesome this thing is I can put a gun in a little small safe that's big enough to hold a full-size pistol um, in a little safe that is can be opened with this thing um, it's an RFID reader and it's great for, you know, so, you know, weapon storages, but it has easy access for if there's like a bump in the night or a crash in the night, whatever you want to call it, you know, you can gain easy access with this and still have that level of security on you at all times. That literally never comes off my wrist ever. I shower with it and everything still works great. Um, I'm going to be honest, this is my newest addition to my EDC. I literally just picked this up today. I can't give a review or anything like that, but you know, it's a G-Shock, so I mean, that pretty much speaks for itself. Um, I've never been a, a a watch type of person, to be honest, but I, I think, it, you know, I think I'm, I've been thinking about it lately, and I think it's time to, you know, go back to the old-fashioned watch. Uh, they're, they're good, you know, every time I have to go into my pocket and get out my phone, it just drains my battery really, uh, like really quick and this battery life you know lasts like light years more than this so it's always good to have a watch so definitely you know it's a g-shock they're not cheap i paid 95 dollars for this watch but if you can afford one you know buy one uh it's probably the only kind of watch that i would ever wear to be honest but they're, they look great too this one's like an in uh like an od green type you know uh color with like the gray face and everything like that it's actually upside down but fantastic watch i think it's i think it's awesome um i think that's everything um except for this i do carry definitely just dropped around but uh i do carry my glock 19 um i do not like carrying subcompacts to be honest so i carry a compact firearm this obviously like i said before is my glock 19 sorry i'm upside down today uh my glock 19 i i can't tell you how much i really like i'm not a glock fanboy whatsoever but if i'm going to carry any glock it's going to be a glock 19 um to be honest i think there's only like three glocks period that i like this is definitely one of them i think this is a like an awesome pistol so definitely recommend the Glock 19. And last but not least, an extra magazine. You know, these are 10 round mags um, that I have on my Glock 19. I don't need, you know, an extension or anything like that. But this is basically my EDC. I don't have anything else in my pockets, my wrists, or anything like that. You know what? Actually, I do have two more things um, that probably should be acknowledged. I do carry my glasses. These are um versace i actually bought these on my first deployment what like seven years ago man and they still work great they're still awesome glasses 
They look great and everything. Nothing tactical, obviously. They're not ballistic or anything, but they are very expensive. These are $300 glasses, man, but I had the money at the time. Probably won't buy them again. You know, it's time to buy some new glasses. Uh, but uh, I'm probably just going to go with like some decent Oakleys or something this time, but uh, definitely not for some Versace's, man. But And last but not least, of course, you know, you guys see my videos. I always have a hat with me, man. Always. I have curly hair. To be honest, I'm kind of embarrassed with my curly hair, so I like to hide it with, <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a hat. You know, the, the one I wear the most is my uh, OEF Afghanistan veteran hat. But, you know, I do love sports, man. Go Dodgers, right? Um, I do love sports, so I do wear sports hats um, from time to time as well. Um, but yeah, this is my EDC. This is what I carry on me uh, just about every single day. You know, on occasion, I do forget something here and there. Um, but for the most part, this is what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed with... Uh, this video of my EDC. Um, if you think I should take away something or add to, you know, definitely let me know. If you disagree with me whatsoever, you know, I definitely want to know. And I also want to know what you guys carry. So definitely leave that in the comments below. I I, I love to hear insight from other people. So uh, I'm not just teaching you guys stuff. Obviously, you know, I'm definitely learning things from you guys as well. So uh, definitely leave in the comments what you guys carry. If you agree or disagree with what I carry. Um, but uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, God bless you and God bless America.